welcome to Mount St. Vincent University's library. Today, Denise Rodriguez, our Extended Services Librarian, will be teaching us a little bit about online searchable databases that can be accessed online from the Mount website. Thank you for joining me today, Denise. You're very welcome. I'm happy to be here. Now, could you give us a little overview of what you're going to be showing us today? Great. What I want to show you is sort of how to think about your research papers in a way that will allow you to find articles on their topic. And then I'm going to show you how to access our article databases, how to do a simple search, and how to find full text articles that are relevant to your topic. Excellent. Thank you. And then if they need more information about citing bibliographies, they can see our other DVD on RefWorks. That's correct. And Perfect. you're always welcome to call the library as well for, for more help. Perfect. All right, do you want to take us through? Okay, well, first of all, just about accessing the library materials and um, just what you need to do that. Before just they even get started. Before they even get started. Okay. So you want to make sure that you get your MSVU student ID card. And you can get that by contacting the registrar's office and requesting the card. Uh, a lot of students uh, studying from a distance think that, well, because they're not on campus, that they don't need it. But that card will actually allow you to access any university in Nova Scotia, with the exception of Acadia, but any of the other college or university student, uh, university libraries, you can use that card in. And you can actually order materials to be delivered at the library closest to you once you have that card. And so this card will help them to access even the online library? No, with the, for the online library, you need your a network uh, login, okay. username and password. Uh, if you haven't received one by email, there's always one in the My Web CT announcements. You can check there for it. If you don't have access to My Web CT, please contact the library. And uh, if you're in Canada, but not in Nova Scotia, an ASIN card will allow you access to most universities in Canada. So if you're in Ontario or you're in Labrador, Newfoundland, that card can help you access the universities in your community. So it's, it's a handy card to have. So, so in terms of um, finding uh, research materials, I just want to talk a little bit about what you're looking for. Um, most times you're looking for journal articles, and, and we've got the article databases, um, and you're looking for books as well. You have to remember that the, the, most of the work that you'll be using is scholarly work, so it's not always appropriate just to, to go on, on you know, sort of friendly search engine and just look for anything on the, the open web. Good point. Yeah. Our resources might be accessible online. I mean, you are you know, using an internet browser to get to the library and to use our, our research databases. But what we have is scholarly um, articles that we've actually paid for with your, you know, from your fees mm -hmm. um, to, to get these subscriptions. So they're trustworthy academic sources that you can use for your papers. When you're using websites, you must check with your professor. There's some cases where they're appropriate, but there are others when they're not. So be careful when you're using websites. So today, the, the example I'm going to use uh, is, uh, let's say you get an essay on the impact of smoking during pregnancy. Okay. Now, if you, were, if you just go in and search and you type in impact, I mean, it's not going to get you the kind of results that, that you want. So you definitely want to pick out the key terms for your, your research uh, problem. You want to sort of generate as many terms as possible. You want to sort of use synonyms, use a thesaurus, um, brainstorm with your, your classmates or your colleagues, um, talk to other people about it, and just kind of get as many search terms as possible. And then, you've, then once you've got those search terms, then you go to the article database and, and conduct your searches. So I have here an example of how we can break that down. So when we're talking about impact for impact of smoking, mm -hmm. you want to think, okay, what kind of impact on whom? So is it like health? You know, so if it's health you're, you're talking about, then that's the search term you want to, to type right. in. You, you type in health, 
not impact. And then right. you also want to keep a, a handle on, okay, is it, you know, when you talk about the impact of smoking during pregnancy, is it on the, the mother that you're talking about, this health impact, or is it on the, the, child. the, on the, the child? The child. Right. Yeah, exactly. And, and then, so here you can see that I've sort of written down all the, the terms that are coming to mind as mm -hmm. I, I kind of brainstorm these, these keywords. Right. And then even I'd say smoking, you'll, you'll notice here that I've done an SMOK and then the little asterisk or the little star. That's called a wild card and it takes care of all the endings. So it will take care of smokers as well as smoking. As well as smoke. As well as smoke, <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> uh, and then you might also want to think about, okay, what is it about smoking that, that is worrisome or right. might have impact? So in that case, like nicotine. Right. Or you might think, okay, what are they smoking? You know, in this case, we're kind of interested in cigarettes, you right. know, as opposed to cigars or, or something right. else. And then in terms of um, pregnancy, again, the, using that little wild card, we can take care of both pregnant and pregnancy ah. so that you don't have to, s to put in both words. Good idea. And you might also want to think of prenatal as a, another term to get at that mm -hmm. um, stage. So you can see here that, you know, just by thinking about each word in your, your question, we were able to generate a list of, of keywords that we can use to, to find articles. And, you know, we haven't even gone near the computer yet, but this, <laughs> <laughs> this is a really useful exercise. And it's particularly useful if you talk to somebody else while you're doing it. Okay, so um, on, the, uh, on the MSVU library site, we will go to the article databases. And we're going to go there now to take a look at it. Great. So here we want to go down to on the, the MSVU website and once you get to the, the Mount um, site you can see that the library has a little link up at the top. Okay, so that's where we are. Yeah, and okay. then we want to click on article databases. And here we, we have a list of all the different departments that are at the Mount. So you would choose the department that you're enrolled in for, for this course. So that we can get, for this we could, let's go to sociology. Yes. Sounds relevant. On this page, we list all the, the databases, usually with the most relevant one on top. So for sociology students, uh, SOS index is the, the most relevant. For the example though, I'm actually gonna show you Academic Search Premier. And the, the reason why I'm doing that, because of course if you're doing your paper, you would go for the one that's right up at the top. Okay. But this Academic Search Premier, it's a multidisciplinary database, which means it's got um, something on practically every subject. All right. And because this particular DVD is going out to, to everyone, I wanna use a, a database that everyone can use for their, their research topic. So this, uh, we have this little sort of database uh, page, uh, the sort of our policy and what we sort of expect from our students. And basically it's saying that you're gonna, or you're agreeing that you're gonna use this for educational academic purposes. You're not gonna use this information to Set up your own website, website. With, exactly. uh, with all the information that's on this one. Yes. So, uh, and um, again, we have paid money to publishers to get this uh, um, right. information. And we've made the agreement that this is going to our students. I understand. So you need to accept and read mm -hmm. these yes, regulations to continue.